Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing Northwest Mob 2016 Part 2. Part 3. Part 3. <laughs> 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 The question says a relative substance of mass 3.4 milligram emits an average of 8.40 beta pascals per second, given that one disintegration releases one beta pascal and that the atomic mass of the substance is 230 grams. Calculate A activity and B half life of the substance in years. Tell them to pause the video and make sure that they attempt the problem before we do the collection. Okay? All right, guys. So engage. Um, Bridget, can you solve it? Yes. All right. So Bridget solves it for you guys. Let's go. Hey guys. So thank you so much, Bridget, for reading the question. So let's get right into solving it. So the first part says that what is the activity of this radioactive nuclide? Now, you have to recognize what activity is, guys. Activity is basically the number of disintegrations per unit time, right? Now, the question says that each disintegration is given up one beta particle. If each disintegration gives up one beta particle, you recognize that the number of beta particles per unit time just equal to the activity of the sample. And how many beta particles are there per unit time? 8.40 beta particles per second. So that's the activity, right? And so we've done that a little bit down here under the question analysis. You can check out times also really. Uh, so we know what activity is 8.40. We're done with A. Now, next part B says the half life of the sample of the substance in years. <clears throat> so to do that, we have to find the number of particles that are available in that radioactive sample. How do I get the number of particles? Well, chemistry helps us a lot in this. Given mass of molar mass multiplied by the number, right? So to plug in what given mass is 3.4 milligrams, what molar mass is 2 jc, and then I've got your number that is that. So calculator takes over, and then we have this as number of particles. But then the activity is lambda, which is a decay constant multiplied by the number of particles. So you recognize that in place of lambda, which is a decay constant, it's equivalent to the 2 over t half. So let's make t half the subject. The mass depth. So T half would be n times t over e, the activity. So T half is we plug in what n is, we only got n from here into and then our e, the activity, we've got it already. So our T half is 7.34 times 10 to the 17 seconds. So I have to put that in years, right? So one year has 365.25 days. We start converting that to hours, to minutes, and then to seconds, right? And then again, basically convert it to years. So that is it about the question, guys, and that's all what you had to do. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you liked it. Maybe you liked Bridget's voice more. <laughs> Thank you, nonetheless. Share the content. Uh, get it across uh, to many people as you can. Get it across your social media platforms. We are very grateful if many more people get to know. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Stay tuned for other episodes.